We're taking the fast service, calling at selected stations as far as Faversham, where we shall join up with a service from Dover. Combined, our eight-coach train will continue via the Medway towns and Bromley South into London, Victoria. Platform 4 to our left for the roughly one train an hour from Charing Cross via Ramsgate, which terminates here. This gives passengers the luxury of three trains an hour connecting the main Thanet resorts. The gently sloping beaches of Margate made it one of the first seaside resorts in Britain. The original southeastern terminus, long since obliterated, was aptly renamed Margate Sands in 1899. The line stopped just short of the sea. Today's holidaymakers having not a clue that steam trains once terminated here. we pass Margate signal box. Our entire route is signalled by the track circuit block method. Margate interfaces with Ramsgate in the south and Favish. Notice the steep angle of the road bridge leading down towards the town. Notice too the unusually grand station building spanning the line. At the down platform is a class 465 networker en route from Charing Cross to Gillingham. At the time of filming, the Medway Bridge was six months into a 22-month refurbishment by Network Rail. This is where the old southeastern line to Strood, Dartford and Charing Cross diverges. After 1911, passenger trains ran into the former LCDR. Lying on a two-mile stretch of dead straight track, this is Longfield. We cross the River Thames by means of Grosvenor Bridge. There was actually a station here in the distant past, Grosvenor Road, closed in 1911.